feel the cool breeze. It's such a lovely tease. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our Friday night Pasca paint party. And I'll tell you what, we have got an awesome guest tonight, Jimbo Phillips. Before we properly introduce him, though, I've got to say, if you don't know who Jimbo Phillips is, well, you're going to. You obviously and, don't <laughs> skate or surf. <laughs> but the, the other thing is, he's like a magnet for like the most amazing artists because we've got a lot of other artists on here tonight that are big deals like Chris Dyer and Mark Longnecker and Drew Samuel. Oh, and Jeremy Levin, Levin from Australia. So we're going to... Have a really good time tonight. Philly hope... Boy Roberts. <laughs> Phil Roberts. I don't know if Phil's on yet, but I know all those other people are. Um, it's going to be really fun. And I want to um, remind you all this super interactive. So we'd love it if you would just write in the chat your name and where you are right now in the world. Because we have people from all over the world on here. And um, also want to let you know that somebody is going to win a box of Pasca paint pens tonight, and we will announce the winner tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So what are you guys doing tonight? What are you painting? We're going to paint some sick skateboards. What do you say, Jimbo? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I hope everybody's ready. Honey, go man the controls. All right, I'm going behind the curtain, and uh, I'm going to leave I, it up to you to give a I proper forget, introduction. To I Jimbo. forgot to turn my yeah, light on. What's up with the lighting? There we, oh, that's much better. Let there be light. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we are super stoked to have uh, Jimbo Phillips here from Santa Cruz. And um, man, let's highlight Jimbo and welcome him to all of our friends here at the paint party. What's up, brother? Hey, how's it going, guys? Stoked yeah. To be here. God, look at the background, all your cool stuff. And um, man, this is just so cool that, uh, you know, we've been doing these paint parties for a couple months now. And it's just been so neat making friends around the world. And, um, you know, as professional artists, here we are, you know, slugging it away in our studios. And this is everybody's chance to ask you questions about what's, what it's like being a professional artist, uh, especially in Santa Cruz with skateboards and music and surfing. And not to mention the legacy that, you know, growing up in an artist family under your dad and what that must have been like. So yeah, um, I'm ready. So yeah, let it rip. Yeah. So, you know, my, one of my questions is, um, did you, did you go to school anywhere? Um, uh, after high school, I uh, attended uh, Cabrillo college, which is a junior college here. Yeah. And took life drawing and composition and a few, a few art classes. And, but then the second semester, uh, my dad, was starting his art studio and was starting to hire and so i had a job at uh doing construction with my friend and uh i was like digging ditches and my hands were all blistered and i was like i quit dude and yeah yeah and started working with my dad and uh and never looked back basically <laughs> never looked back so does your dad still do art today he's retired yeah, he's retired. He's over. He's painted enough. He's like, yeah, maybe we'll yeah. get like that one day too. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Not yet though. So let, let's see. No. What, so you started working on something today. Let's see what you got going. This is what yeah. I got. There we go. Oh, they, they switched cameras on you. There you okay. go. Oh, that's like perfect Santa Cruz. That looks like one of the boys getting ready to run yeah. out of the park. Yeah. Got a crazy dude like bottom turning up into the barrel is I, I had to have a big eye popping out of the socket of course yeah and then uh threw in a shark for the focus of his eye popping and uh yeah should be should be fun yeah i, so I laid down a bunch of color to kind of get the uh, background stuff done because to me the the black line is kind of what really makes things pop and is exciting and so I did a lot of this work because I figured this would have kind of ate up all the time doing this and yeah, perfect. Yeah. Cause you know, you know, we've been doing these and I'm having a hard time keeping up cause I'm like talking and painting and um, yeah, so it's, hard, it's hard to do both. Yeah. So, you know, for everybody out there, we're going to be just 
you know, putting on our paintings. And uh, if you have any questions for me or Jimbo about painting, uh, especially skateboards or some of the design. And um, Maria, it's a good, good um, time to maybe bring up some of the photos of Jimbo's work and maybe he can talk about it a little bit. All while right. We sit here and paint. Let's see. There she goes. Tahiti. This is your favorite, isn't it? This is my favorite. Yeah. And this is a good a good question. So it it looks like you do a lot of your stuff on on the iPad and stuff as well, right? Yeah, yeah, a lot of uh I I mean I draw everything on paper and uh that's how it, you know, that's just how I learned, but um I, it always ends up in the computer as like a vector file or a Photoshop file or something to send off to clients and stuff. Yeah, just so it's nice and clean. Yeah, a lot of my stuff uh, is for skate products, t-shirts and boards and stickers and stuff. So, you know, it has to go in the computer to kind of get output and print it on whatever it's going on. Yeah, and that's my stuff too. Um you know, I I do the same thing. Everything gets yeah. photographed. Oh, this is cool. This and this for the band, the Expendables, or a concert or something. Yeah, that was at the Fillmore in San Francisco. Expendables are from Santa Cruz. I know those guys. That's cute. That's what's fun about doing these uh, skateboard decks, though, is uh, no computer and kind of get back to the get paint on your hands and uh draw on, on a hard surface and you got something tangible to like hold on to and yeah you know well, computer stuff's just in a file on your computer and it's not as exciting as like having a actual art piece you know yeah well it brings up a good question to all the viewers out there that you know a lot of people think uh like especially in my case everybody just thinks i'm sitting around painting surfboards all day but Right. so much goes into every piece like all the design like you probably have a pile of sketches for every one of these yeah and same here like i mean i spent a week sketching stuff for a for a client and then you know doing the painting right and then it gets photographed and it goes in the computer to get outputted like you said for all kind of printing oh i really like this one what was this for was this for a t-shirt yeah yeah that was a t-shirt design that's so rad. skateboards. So what's the number one question you get, Jimbo, when people are looking at your art? Um, How long did it take? Yeah, yeah, I get that. <laughs> you hear that like a million times? Yeah, yeah. How long did it take? Uh, what's your favorite piece, which I never have an answer for either. I always say the next one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of... Yeah, it's always kind of once once you're done working on something, you're kind of tired of looking at it, so you want to <laughs> you're ready for the next thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. What about like I know just from surfing up in Santa Cruz, it's hard to be up there and not see you guys' work plastered all over everything. It's such a big part of you guys' town, and I mean that that must feel pretty weird. It's so like it's almost like you're the between you and your dad, you're the the honorary artist of Santa Cruz. Yeah, well, I mean, my dad did the uh, the Santa Cruz logo, you know, so. Uh, and it's everywhere up there. It, yeah, it's everywhere. So that kind of like cemented our place in the in the Santa Cruz history book, you know. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, he's retired, but I still work for Santa Cruz Skateboards. And that's where I started uh, doing uh, graphic art with, with him at Santa Cruz. So. It's kind of where I got my start and uh, yeah, it's, it's a cool, uh, cool part of the history, you know? Yeah. And it's the town we live in. So. Well, it's kind of like me with law surfboards, except our, our town didn't adopt us. They, they kind of don't claim us. <laughs> <laughs> they will though. <laughs> yeah, they man. will. It's going to happen. So yeah. Jimbo, this is cool. You got a message from Rob Francis of the okay. Moss Foundation Skaters in Australia. Oh yeah, I'm wearing a shirt. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, let me get, let me spotlight that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So he said, thanks heaps for supporting Moss. We're wearing the same shirt today. That's what he wrote. Yeah. 
Yeah, they, uh, I paint skateboards and they, they, I send them to Australia. They auction them off in a big art show. A bunch of great artists over there and around the world, they donate the art. And then the money raised goes to uh, um, get fresh water to uh, underprivileged um, villages in, uh, in Africa. That's wow. amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. So yeah, they're doing a great cause and, and it's a, it's a fun, fun way to help out, you know? For sure. Yeah. We have people on from all over the world. We've got people from Argentina and Brazil. We've got quite a few people from different parts of Australia and France. Um, pretty amazing. Yeah. Just so you guys know, we have 135 people on with us right now. Oh, rad. Awesome. So, so one of the things, you know, I, I just think of um, when I was a kid, how much like surfer magazine and skateboarding you know just the graphics more on skateboarding than anything really shaped me as an artist and i mean you know we can thank people like rick griffin and your dad and mm -hmm. other than your dad who is some of the big influence that um you know it looks like a little ed roth or something uh yeah definitely definitely ed roth definitely uh, rick griffin um uh, when I was a kid, you know, I read a lot of like Marvel comics. So like the old, uh, you know, Spider-Man comics and then uh, a lot of uh, Mad Magazine, all the artists in Mad Magazine. I loved all those artists. Yeah. And then um, watched a lot of like the old horror movies when I was a kid, like the uh, Frankenstein and Dracula <laughs> and stuff. So got to, that stuff's definitely in there, too, you know. Well, it was just funny, like earlier today, I was just scrolling through your library of stuff that just comes up on the internet. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so, like, I was just chuckling. <laughs> yeah. The, the screaming pizza slice is so funny. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The screaming pizza slice. That's been a, that's been a big one. It reminds me of my knees when I was a kid from wiping out all the time on my skateboard. Oh, right. You get the pizza elbow. Yeah. It, I was just it totally brought me back to that. <laughs> that's awesome and uh yeah i mean just do you, so do you surf a lot do you skate a lot yeah yeah i mean uh i still do both um as much as possible it's definitely not as much as i did in my youth but um try and uh try and keep at it, it keeps me healthy and uh keeps me inspired so you east side or west side i'm on the east side pleasure point yeah so you don't go hang out with the West Side Boys then? Um, yeah, sometimes. Somebody, somebody was asking if you knew, now I'm looking for the thing, in, the question in the chat. Chris Cuddy was asking if you knew Flea and that whole group there. Those Santa Cruz guys. Yeah, I know, uh, I knew, I was good friends with Barney and uh, I'm friends with Skin Dog and uh, I've met, met all those guys. I'm not, I don't really hang out with them that much but uh, every time I see them around it's uh, you know it's always like high fives and shakas you know yeah it's a pretty small town pretty small yeah. community of surfers for sure and um, yeah, yeah they, so they come to the east side when it's good and I go to the west side when it's good over there or whatever and I think the east guys are a little more mellow the west side guys are like I'm uh, you know they're a little more yeah Especially when i was when i was a kid it was really gnarly like yeah it was like scary to surf over there <laughs> i like i've i've surfed the lane a bunch and uh man it's just a heckle fest yeah you have to, nice. you have, to have a thick skin to surf the lane especially yeah, when sure. it's good well they can just like sit right on the cliff and like look down on you and heckle you you know yeah well i'm i'm friends with skinny and uh i was out there one day you didn't even know it was me and he was yelling at me <laughs> i didn't even bother telling him i was like bro you remember we were friends from puerto escondido oh right yeah, but he was in his element so i was uh, i was all right with it <laughs> yeah yeah for sure <laughs> but uh hey, Jimbo, a, lot, we, a lot of those guys oh mellowed out a bit oh it's all good it's all good fun yeah what were you gonna say maria um, his other camera went out, but it's back on now, so we're good. Oh, okay, cool. We're good. Um, uh, what was another question I was going to ask was, um, I lost my train of thought, but, uh, 
I'm working away. I'm on peace. It'll come to me in a minute. I had another good question. But yeah, well, while just, you're thinking of it, I'm going to do a couple shout outs. I want, there's like 50 shout outs I want to make. I'm just going to get them out as every now and again. But I want to shout out to my good friend, Chris Hopkins, great artist in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which we're probably going to do something with him one day. Um, of course, our buddy Jason in Greeley, Colorado. And we've got George joining us from Bristol, the UK, out of the UK. Right on, George. And CJ's back from Japan. All right, we got some regulars. Oh, we do. From all oh, I know. The world. I know what you're gonna. I was gonna ask you, like Barney. I mean, Barney was a great artist. Oh, yeah. That really, you know, just I I surfed with him a couple times, and you know, there's just so much talent surfing and art in Santa Cruz. For and, sure. Uh, Barney was definitely one of them, and I yeah. I, um, yeah, he was a character, man. I miss that guy. Yeah, and it just shows that how how lucky we are that we have like all these like cool uh, people that are talented people in surfing. And you know, I always kind of like thought surfing like saved my life because you know, if, you know, of course, everybody wants to be a pro surfer, a pro skater, or something in our world. And right, art really let me kind of live that lifestyle and be part of it without having to depend on that part that, you know, the athletics. Yeah, definitely. And uh, it's almost yeah. kind of better. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot longer lifespan. Yeah. And, um, you know, I just, I just really appreciate it. And, and now, like, you know, here we are sitting here talking to all these people around the world and, like, every little town you can be, you know, you know, the cool little art community in each town. Right. And I just think, you know, when I was doing this paint pen thing with Posca, uh, I always imagined like every little town having like a crew of like really good artists that were just creating all kind of rad stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, there are for sure. I'm mm -hmm. always, uh, anytime I go to a different uh, country or town, I'm always amazed at the, the talent there, you know? Yeah. So what is your preferred medium? Like say, what, what did you start with? And um, like for me, it's Posca. Um, do you like using Poscas or do you like- Oh, I, I love paint? Posca for like painting skateboards and surfboards, like Posca is definitely the go-to. Yeah. Um, I grew, I mean, like I learned basically like pen and ink style. That's kind of my go-to. So that's what I do all my, um, illustrations uh, just like black and white on paper yeah and then um and then color you know usually for a graphic it'll get colored on the computer but th these the poscas are nice because it's like a graphic but you're laying down all the colors on the on the surface you know so yeah it's 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 a good back to basics yeah they de they they saved my life i i was real intimidated by all the other you know, mediums, like I'd go into an art store and, you know, art stores can kind of be, you know, a little pretentious. And then especially guys like us, we're into hot rod art and surf art. They're looking at us like that's not real art. And right. And so the Posca pens, you know, allowed me to kind of do my thing without having too much training. Um, yeah. And I, I really feel like, you know, they saved my life and, I just imagine what something like somebody like your dad or Rick Griffin would have done if they would have had these things. Oh man, I know. Yeah. You know, those, the old skateboard graphics, like, I mean, I did them that way too. You know, you're working with three or four colors, you know, doing your black line drawing and it's so limiting. It just shows you how good of graphic designers those guys were. Yeah. I mean, when I learned, uh, when I started working for my dad in the skateboard studio, um, it was all uh, all the old school methods. So it was pen and ink on paper, and then you had to uh, cut ruby lists for the colors. Yeah. And ruby lith is basically this layer that's all red, and you have to cut out the color that you want. So first you would do yellow. So you would cut out and leave all the yellow parts and then you would have to do blue and you wouldn't, you would never see the colors cause all the layers are this red. Yeah. So you're just looking at red 
for every color. And then, but you have to kind of imagine it being blue or whatever color you're putting there. Yeah. And you would never, you wouldn't see the actual colors until it, the board was printed. So it was always kind of like this, oh, what's it gonna look like? What's it gonna look like? Oh, it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel lucky because I come from that that old school stuff too and I mean kids have no idea how difficult it was back then to to do things yeah and um you know I really appreciate it now especially uh you know going back to that and seeing some of the guys who are picking that back up and you know of course they can do it on the computer and get a little bit more elaborate, but essentially it's it's the same black line drawing done the old school, you know, selecting areas and right. Um, yeah, I mean, I learned all that stuff, and then uh, basically as soon as I learned it, it was all out the window. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I always had to learn something because like computers came out, and I was just like, man, another thing to learn. And yeah, I feel like I've been playing catch up my whole life. Well, computers are like that. It's a never-ending uh, learning process. Yeah. So you're never quite caught up. You're always like, oh, the new software, the new tool, or the new whatever, you know? Yeah. Um, Jimbo, you have a message from Spencer. Okay. He wrote, I'm with my family. We all love you, and we are from Santa Cruz. Oh, cool. And uh, you're getting a lot of people, like Mike Richardson says, looks thick. Jimbo, um, you're getting a lot of uh, love thrown at you right now, just awesome. so you know. Good to hear. And then I just want to shout out to a couple more people. Lucy in Spain, who always joins us. And we've got um, Jeremy Levins from South Australia. I think he was stuck in the waiting room when we said his name before. So Jeremy, good to see you. We actually have quite a few people from South Australia. Uh, Cruz is also from South Australia with us right now. Awesome. Yeah, I, w I went out to Australia um, two years ago and uh, met a lot of great artists and people out there. And yeah, it's, it's amazing out there. I love it. I could live there so easily. Yeah. I love it. Could go hang out with Jeremy and Christy. I would love to. I can't wait till we can do that. Yeah. Well, wait. look at the black line. So this is what it really impresses me is your your black line skills are, you know, just so nice and I I, I like even you know just the the black line on paper. Yeah, yeah. That that's kind of uh, you know I get it looking good in black line, and then I figure anything if it looks good in black and white, then any color is going to be a bonus. You know. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever use this, like I'm holding up a pen here, the, the really small Posca? It's the, it's the, uh, the 1MR? Oh, I have a, uh, let's see. This pen works so good on paper. I, think I have threes, I think, as small. Yeah. Ago. I'm going to have to send you some of these 1MRs. They're like really great for signing prints. Oh, yeah. But like, so like, Honey, if you zoom in on my little tiki guy right here, you know, this pen, I can do really fine black line. And I just think it'd be a great tool for you, you know, because you're, you know, when you're using some of the pens that have actual ink in them, it doesn't, you know, it kind of gets washed out a little bit where this is actual paint. Right. And um, this has become my favorite pen. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So for all of you out there, you like doing like really small black line stuff. And um, here I am on this little tiny tiki here and I'm doing the eye. You can't see it that well on this computer screen. Let's see if I can get it closer. There we go. Yeah, hold it still for a sec. But you can Perfect. see how small that is and being able to do that. And also I could come here and do like these little dots. Let me see if I can move my hand. Yeah. Yeah, I love the little uh, little shady dots, you know, little stipples. Yeah, and so, you know, you could really melt out on this little pen. So I have a 
couple questions. Stan Shaw, this is kind of unrelated to painting surf skateboards, but he wanted to know, Drew, is Drew gonna have a year-end sale with original art again? Like we used to do that every year. And the answer is yes, Stan, we're gonna do that actually sometime this month. I know you're on our email list, so you will hear about it when it's about to happen. Thank you for asking. Yeah, we'll probably unload a lot of the things that we've been painting during these Posca paint parties. And if you can see behind me, I'm like full of like all these like crazy paintings that we've been doing for fun during the party. So they all need homes. We'll, mm -hmm. Maria can let those out whenever. I yep, I will make those available very soon. Awesome. And then our good friend Ty from San Diego was just commenting, Mad Magazine is a flash from the past. Ty, it's good to have you here. I won the pens last weekend, didn't he? Yeah, but he he donated them back. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did. Good on you, Ty. You're probably up your eyeballs in pens anyway. <laughs> what he said. I know Cairo He's wants donating to... to the cause. Ty is a good man. Is our buddy Santino in Argentina with us? You know it. And we are going to start sharing other people's art in just a couple minutes. Um, but here's a question from Wesley to either Jimbo or Drew. When you start drawing on a deck, do you go to straight marker or do you sketch it out with a pencil or some other medium? I think we should ask Jimbo that question. I always sketch it out with pencil first. Yeah, yeah. it uh, saves you a lot of, uh, a lot of frustration. Work, work out the lines in the in pencil and then uh and then you can refine them with the black yeah and i'm the same i i um depending on what i'm trying to do sometimes i do a little thumbnail on paper but like this one you can see on mine i actually sketched it with a white pen so that people could see the sketch oh yeah um but normally i would do it in pencil but white pen works pretty good you can paint right over it right and um it's kind of fun. Like I did, I changed it up. Like I, I drew this on here and I didn't like it. So then I just um, got some Windex and wiped it off <laughs> and then redid it to something I like. So you don't have to worry about being too attached to your, your drawing if you're drawing right on the board because you can always take it off. Right. And um, yeah, that's huge. And that's another benefit of these pens. They're, you know, until you clear coat them, you can take them off or redo it or. Right whatever you want scratch them off with a razor blade or something yeah so you know did you ever paint surf surfboards like production or anything like that uh yeah i did i worked for uh for stretch for a while um i used to just kind of paint my own surfboards yeah and my friends and then uh kind of right when the the paint pens came in um i did um I painted for stretch for a while, but, um, you know, that was probably about a few months or something. Then I was kind of over it after that. Yeah. Cause it, doing the numbers is hard. Yeah. So Jimbo, Mike Richardson wants to know, do you have any tips on how to start working with or designing for skateboard companies? What's your advice there? Um, best thing to do would be like tag them in your, in your work. So they see it or send that, send them some samples of what you've done. And uh, you could even mock up some stuff on, on a skateboard that you think looks good. Um, skateboard companies can be hard to, to get into sometimes. Um, a lot of people ask me about skateboard graphics and uh, it's actually, it's kind of like a, a labor of love a little bit because um, it, it's not the best paying art you can do out there, but um, there's something satisfying about uh, having your art on a skateboard, you know? Yeah. So Steven wanted to know, um, what are the best skateboard decks to get? So what do you think, Jimbo? Uh, definitely Santa Cruz. <laughs> yeah. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah. And it, can they be ordered online? Yeah, NHS Fun Factory. Okay. Yeah. Didn't you guys do like a board that you can paint? Yeah, they did some of the classic, some of my dad's old graphics. 
Yeah. I don't know if I have one here. Um, yeah, but there, it's just the outline, so you can go in and color it how you want. I'm going to do one of those pretty soon. That's such a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a coloring book on a skateboard, basically. So, I would have loved that as a kid. Yeah. Just like something so... It's so like... I want to... I want to share something that George from the UK said. Uh, he said, thanks for the shout out. That's massive for me. Skate culture shaped my youth in Bristol and I've taken it with me to the sea further southwest in Weston. Super mayor. So, so stoked when I saw you guys would be live. Jimbo Phillips has been one of the biggest graphic designers for me ever since I was in Nasher. It's 1 a.m. here, and I stayed up late to be with you guys. So that's George. Awesome, George. Thanks for coming, man. Yeah, good on you, George. Yeah. I think that's one of the greatest things about doing these uh, uh, parties is, I mean, I would have loved to do this. Like, you know, I, I grew up in South Carolina, so I was kind of so far away from everything, and you know, now people from all over the world can hang out with us on a Friday night and yeah, we're all, we're all sitting, hanging out. I'm having a beer. I get to talk to people I like and, you know, we all love to paint and do art and, and learn from each other. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. So um, it's cool. one of the cool uh, things about the technology is the new ways you can interact with people. Yeah. And how, yeah, that's a good, you know, thought within you know doing art like the computer both of us remember ruby lift so that, you know we know how far it's come and how great it has been you know being able to something as simple as email or even vector files or something like that or just advancements in printing has really allowed me to be a, a an artist because they didn't used to be able to print a lot of this stuff and now they can right and you know what a blessing it is like almost like it's like one of the best times ever to be an artist because you can print almost anything that you create oh yeah and there and there's so many um outlets for your art now i mean you can basically get your art printed on just about any product you can think of there's a way to get your stuff your artwork on that whatever it is a coffee mug or a mouse pad or you would you know skateboard or you can you can yeah. order it up online you know yeah so the the first skateboard decks i did of course were my own i usually inherited my older brother's skateboard so it was already all grinded off so i had to make it look good again right and um but then once i became an, a professional artist i did a couple boards for flip and um yeah i was bummed i never even got a, a I never even got a deck off of them. It was like one of those things like back in the day, like, Ugh. you know, it was so hard just even to get, you know, a sample or whatever. They like, because back then there was a lot of guys doing boards. It's not so much anymore. Right. And um, you just kind of, I got lost in the shuffle. But yeah, then, that, that can happen sometimes. It's, it's can be hard to, uh, once they get the the artwork, they just kind of take it and run. You're just like, oh yeah, I wanted to get a board. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're like, what? They're already on the next one. But yeah, lucky, lucky for me, and and I wasn't that good. Like, I think I was scared of ramps, or I was just more into surfing. And lucky for me, when I moved to San Clemente and started going to those trade shows, I would, you know, skate companies like sector nine were getting started so that's when i really did a lot of skateboards were, was with sector nine right and that was really great because that was more my style i was riding a skateboard to go to the beach to go surfing versus yeah. you know grinding a curb or a coping or something right and so that's why like i have all these sector nine boards around me and like this is a sector nine deck that i'm painting oh, um cool yeah and it's just kind of neat that i feel you know, skateboarding especially has just come so far. And, you know, here in Santa Cruz too, I mean, people bombing hills around here in San Clemente, it's just hilarious. It's like people from out of town trip out. Well, when the, uh, the longboards came in, it really opened up the market for skateboards because yeah. before, before that, 
to ride a skateboard, you really had to kind of be a skater. Yeah. You rode the traditional, you know, popsicle stick with, uh, you know, the small wheels and that's kind of all there was. And that's basically all that was really accepted by, you know, yeah. other, other skaters. And then once the longboard revolution came, it just shattered that. And now it's like, you can ride anything and no one, no one thinks twice about it. It's like, yeah, like, everything goes. Yeah. In the nineties, if you're riding a longboard, you would, you would have got heckled or something, but now it's just like common and it's, uh, it really opened the door for all kinds of skateboarding It's kind of like accepted now, you know, kind of in the nineties, it was like kind of narrow minded. Like you have to do kick flips and tray flips and all this stuff. And then, uh, it got so I think it just got a little rigid where it needed to be broken and now it's like all these old school tricks are cool again old style skateboards are cool longboards uh those slalom boards you know all kinds of stuff it's it's really cool that uh it, it's kind of just all encompassing now yeah so Chris Dyer said, please give my love to Jimbo and Drew all the way from Peru. Sure. And Chris, yeah, if Chris. you are up for it, we'd love to see what you're working on, but I don't want to just spotlight you without your permission. So if you could either hit the raise hand button or maybe write it in the in the uh, chat if it's if you wanna if you want us to spotlight you, if it's okay to do that. Yeah, Chris, come say hi. And uh, Chris came and visited us uh, a few years back. That's awesome. Yeah. Ooh, good smear. I wonder if he's Liz stole Gibbons wrote, Jimbo, your artwork for Riot Brewing on Vancouver Island is excellent. It's great buying your art in liquor stores all over BC. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, fun little beer label project. That's great. <laughs> It's always fun uh, doing stuff for kind of a different market than you usually do, you know? Yeah. You know, we've been getting a lot of business in the cannabis industry and it's been just so fun because I love plants and right. You know, just being able to add this like spin of art into that, that world has just been a real, a real good thing for business, you know? Yeah. That market's uh, really expanding. Yeah. Cause the, the surf market is, you know, kind of evaporated and uh -huh. yeah, it can be limiting, you know, for all you out there thinking it's, it's, you know, all roses doing stuff in the surf industry or skate industry. It is it's actually very small and um, it's fun. And uh, hopefully that we can get it to a place where it starts coming back and we get more companies doing cool stuff. But it seems to fluctuate, don't you think, Jimbo? It comes, comes and goes and waves? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and uh, like I said, for like skateboard graphics and stuff, you got to kind of, uh, you got to love to do it because it's not always the best, um, they're not always the best paying gigs, but there is a satisfaction that comes from um, a skateboard, you know, a finished skateboard with your graphics on it. It's, yeah, it was pretty satisfying. All right, we're going to bring Chris Dyer on all the way from bed. Ooh, what's up? What's up, Chris? Hey good what's, to see you. What's up, Jimbo? What's up, Drew? What's up, Maria? Sorry, I'm Hello, a little man. blurry. Once again, my uh, Wi-Fi down here in the countryside of Peru is not super strong, but uh, happy to join the party. Super happy to see you guys and join the jam. Um, yeah, I run out of skateboards out here. I'm still not allowed to leave my property. Uh, Peru's got strict rules about that. <laughs> so uh -huh. I just grabbed some old piece of wood and I spray painted on it a bunch of drips. And now I'm kind of like just posca-ing over it and doing my black lines and just kind of like finding my uh image through the mess yeah <laughs> not really it's planning good, it too much. just kind of giving it some kind of weird abstract shape and pulling the thread and seeing what it tells me 
but uh, yeah, having fun. Jimbo, how's uh, how's your family? How's Colby? How is your dad? Is he in good health? Uh, my dad's doing great. Yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah, he's uh, he's awesome. retired. He's just uh, been chilling at home, and uh, he's he's really into the cement work he's been doing. He's, uh, oh, really? Yeah, he's like doing these like kind of mosaic style uh, kind of walkways with broken cement pieces and he cements them together and then he gets like uh vintage uh bricks and adds those in there and then also does like homemade rocks where he like makes a rock and then spray paints it and like makes it look like a real rock and stuff uh -huh. yeah it's wow. pretty cool so, he, so he just like decking out his yard uh -huh. that's so cool and he still has those hot rods back there yeah yep that's Cool. Please send my love. I don't know if you'll remember me, but you know, and to your mom too. Yeah, uh, definitely. You know. Yeah, I will for I sure. Totally. Awesome. How Thanks old for... is Colby by now? Uh, Colby just turned 18. So yeah, he's, uh, he's been doing some art. He just got, uh, he's got some socks coming out with Merge Force socks. So he's pretty excited. Wow. About. Yeah. He's going to be a famous Third artist like, like his dad and his grandpa. Yeah. You know, yeah. guys, I got the first collaboration between all three generations of Phillips. Because when I was visiting them, uh, Papa Jim grabbed my sketchbook and started oh, doing yeah. a little doodle. And then uh, Jimbo got on there. And then Coley continued. So <laughs> I got a sketchbook page at all three of them. And yeah, that was classic. <laughs> what a yeah. treat. I uh, know. Very honored. <laughs> that is great man yeah 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 that was well, fun that was fun when you came out and visited it was uh it was an honor thank you so much for being so nice to a stranger artist from other different land i i like how uh we artists are uh, a community you know and everybody's nice to each other and you know it's it's nice to link up and now that we're all in different lands we can still link up with technology so super yeah definitely that. we'll all have to do a big show together that's, that's the plan. Cool. That's, that's my cool. dream. Yeah, that's what we'll have to do. That is my dream. Thanks uh, a lot, Chris. So good to see you. Yeah, be Dude, safe. Up, yeah, good to see you, Chris. Yeah, blessings. That's so great. Okay, so I've got a couple more questions here. You. Um, what, a couple people, Sefe being one of them, asking me if... Um, asking me about the last class that we did, or the last paint party that we did. And I just want to let everybody know, if you miss a paint party or if you want to watch this one all over again, we repost the videos on YouTube under Brophy Art Academy. So look for that. They're all really good. And let's see, there's a couple other questions. I just have to find them, so bear with me. Let, let's see. What you, how's yours looking, Jimbo? Coming along. I just keep looking down. I keep forgetting to look up. Oh, the shark's looking mean. I love how you put the eyes like way back in the throat. Like he swallowed somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. There's a guy <laughs> back in there. It's, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Mr. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> what about our buddy Mark Longnecker? Is he there? I'm sure he. Longnecker, would... Longnecker, do you uh, are you ready to come on and show us what you're up to? And then we're gonna, and then we're gonna go to Dubs because Dubs has been waiting too. So Longnecker, I'm gonna I'm gonna spotlight you if you're ready. There you are. Yeah, Mr. Longnecker, what's up? Man. Yeah, How is it up, in Coco Beach, Florida? I'm sure you got questions for Jimbo. I'm just stoked to be painting alongside you, bro. Big, big fan. Always uh, looked up to your art, your dad's art, and uh, and I'm I'm excited. Uh, I, I started watching a bunch of your stuff right before I got on. I saw the I saw the daily grind. You have that little little Kirby cemented in front of your house or something. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's been my my little session curb out front. It's been fun. Yeah, I want to hit that one day. Definitely. Put that one on the bucket list. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. So and, what do you uh, paint, Mark? Well, Drew, Drew hit me up like uh, like three hours before the class. He's like, get 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 that thing started. <laughs> I didn't uh, I didn't take his advice. 
Um, I was hoping I could just kind of come up with something on the spot, but then once I started looking at all your stuff and I saw you, you did um, some, some Grosso, uh, or Grosso graphics and I got inspired about that. It was just uh, Jeff Grosso's birthday. Oh uh, yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. RIP Grosso. Yeah. Rest in peace, man. Yeah. So I started like coming up with uh Oh, sick. Yeah. I'm trying, nice, to, I'm trying to bring a bunch of, like, do a collage of a bunch of the uh, old graphics together. Oh, that'd be awesome. This little rag doll is like the angel over the demon, the original demon. Yeah. And, oh, that's uh, looking good. Thanks. So, so, how's little, life in Coco? Life in Coco is good, man. Yeah, you've been getting some tattoos going? No, it's not that good. It's not that good. <laughs> I wish I was making that tattoo money, but I'm just making little side hustles, painting surfboards, painting, uh, you know, I was painting those horseshoe crabs, painting uh, skateboards, painting, and taking uh, graphic design jobs, little logos for people here and there. Yeah. Yes. And do, right, do what I can. We're right there with you. We're, we're just... Um, it's actually kind of fun just doing a bunch of different stuff and not it it's just a different kind of pressure you know but it's uh it's good at least we got this right yeah i mean when i'm sitting here doing all this all these different art projects that's what i think about you all the time i'm like well this must be what drew Bofi feels like yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly nice all right, let's go. Let's go say hi to Dubs, but because he has been waiting patiently. <laughs> Dubs was the first one to raise his hand. Dubs, Dubs where show are us you? Show what you're working on. Oh yeah, man, what's up, man? Hey, hey, what's, up, up? Yeah. what's up, buddy? <laughs> How's it going, man? All right, man. Well, good to see you in person and hear your voice. Yeah, you too. And hit, hit, hit each other up, man. Cool. Thanks, for, thanks for dropping in. Yeah, dude. <laughs> let's, let's see it. Well, I finished it. Oh, what? Woo! I finished before, so I finished it uh, while on the class. So that is good. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Good. That's Hold that's still some, like. For a second. Hold it still for a oh, second. Oh, okay. Yo. Just yeah, like right there. Yeah, gnarly. Cool. Those are some bloody eyeballs. <laughs> bloody eyeballs. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, dude. What's, what's going cool. on with the nose there? What's going on with the nose? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, awesome. he has a little cold, I guess, yeah. Got a little boogie in there. A little, a little boogie. Yeah. <laughs> Got, gotta have that. Yeah, how you doing, Jobs? Huh? How you doing? You good? Life's good? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, yeah. Back to work, you know. I think like a month leave, you know, but now I'm I'm start I'm going to paint another biolus uh shaped. Oh cool. Board, uh starting tonight, so you'll see that tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, so I've been painting boards from board broker. Right on. Cool. Uh, so all the pro boards I've been painting for those guys. So I just started that last week. So I'm stoked. Awesome. Just, just paint keep boards. It, just keep it going, brother. Yeah, right? All right. Thanks, All right, Jones. we'll come back to you. Yeah, thanks for coming, man. Good to see you. Love that. Right, here's a question. I have a question from Jose. And this question comes up over and over again, so it's worth really answering. Um, do you guys use primer or prime before you paint on a skateboard again? You go first, Jimbo. Um, you don't have to. Sometimes it's fun to let the, uh, the wood grain show through. But um, it depends what you, what you want to do on it. I painted mine white first, just so I had a nice uh, white background. But it looks like yours is just wood grain, yeah? Yeah, mine's like a bamboo composite with fiberglass on it. So it's, it's actually really nice to paint on. Yeah, I like, it. I like being able to see the wood grain through the graphics sometimes. Yeah. Especially if there's like airy pockets for it to show. But you, but you do have to sand, you know, you want to knock the shine off of it if you're not going to prime it. That looks good. I like that forced perspective on your eye. Yeah. <laughs> Just force it, man. 
How about you got some more questions out there, Maria? Yeah, so a lot of people ask about sealing and they want to see what you use. Um, you, I know you talk about it every time, but can you hold up the can of Krylon for a moment and show everybody what it is that you use? Yeah, let me grab um, this other one too. Okay, he left. He'll be back. I'm right here. So, yeah, and Jimbo, your input would be good on this, what you use, like, so this is a 3M like scuff pad. This is what I would use to scuff the deck. Um, right. And even if that's an old board, a new board, whatever, uh, you just want to knock the shine off of it. And um, you don't really want to put any chemicals on it because the like acetone, because usually it has a varnish on it. It'll melt it. Yeah. So you just want to scuff it. Um, it sticks better that way. Yeah, and so like this board I painted during one of the other paint parties. This is definitely inspired the one-eyed fish. Sick. That looks like something something you guys would do. Yeah. Um, but I'll let the wood show through, so that works. You got um, the little uh, the little Rick Griffin influence on the little orbs. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Those uh those Navajo and Hopi Kachina dolls. They right. Uh, I spent some time over there and I, I kind of, I'm getting Rick's vision for sure. That's awesome. Um, but then after um, you paint it, I, I'll either spray it with, uh, you know, Krylon or Rust-Oleum, just clear satin spray. Um, that works really good, especially as a, um, as a base. If you really wanted to do it like high varnish after that, you could, you could then brush on a varnish. But uh, usually this is all you need. And um, that goes for the surfboards too. So uh, for just boards that people are gonna ride on a sanded finish, I'll paint it and then spray it with um, uh, clear crystal ac acrylic. Cool. What, is, okay. what do you use, um, Jimbo? Yeah, it's, uh, the clear acrylic's the call for sure. That just kind of like seals it up. Uh, kind of encapsulates it all yeah it. And, there, and there is nicer types of urethanes and things you can spray um but this is the most consistent product so you can probably pretty much buy this anywhere in the world and you know you, you tend to use the things that you know work right. um, there's probably a lot of other urethanes and things out there that could work very nice but the learning curve of spraying that stuff and knowing what it's going to do is, um, is always a mystery. So I just stick with what I know. <laughs> right. It's good to know what your outcome is going to be. Yeah. Okay. So believe it or not, this hour is going so fast. We only have about 10 minutes left and I know we'll probably go over by a few minutes because we do that on Friday, but Let's I want to share some screens. I want to share Scarlett. Um, Bennett, Santino, Sefe, and a few other people. We got to get um, Jeremy on here too. And Jeremy, if yeah, if Jeremy wants to share, um, would love to. But before I do that, I want to mention to everybody that we are starting a membership program where we have um, it's it's an it's a, an art club, and so I'm going to ask Jillian, my uh, our project manager, to put a link in the chat. If you want information when that membership program opens up, we'll email it to you. So Jillian, if you could just put that in the chat and people can um, sign up to just get notified when our very, it's gonna be a very exclusive art club and you get access to Drew and um, other amazing artists. Okay, let's go to Scarlett. Scarlett, if you're ready, we are going to spotlight you if you want to show us what you're working on. Hi. Hey, girls. What's up, girls? Oops, Hi. lost you a minute. Let's go back. Sometimes it has a mind of its own. Let's see what you're working on. Show us your work, your art. Um, um, I made yeah. this for my mom because it's almost Mother's Day. Oh, wow, look at that. Watermelons and strawberries? Yeah. That's awesome. That's Dan's going to love that. I'm working on this. It's a, Ooh. Thing. a little mini surfboard? A little yeah. mini surfboard. Nice. Right on. Awesome. You guys having fun painting with us? 
Mm -hmm. You like all the crazy characters we're painting? The fish and the sharks and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, they're always fun to draw. Were you guys uh, doing the, merm the butterflies with us last weekend? Yeah. Yeah, Andrea was really cool, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. Well, thank thanks. you so much. Yeah, thanks. All right. Well, we're going to go on to Bennett. Bennett, are you ready? What's up? Look at that Hi. sweatshirt you got. Uh, That's cool. This is my, it's, uh, my butterfly looks like. And oh, yeah, that looks great. Oh, nice. Sweet. Looks yeah. good. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> thank you good for job. sharing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the dog turned out good from the – that was from a while back. It, you guys – Oh, uh, yeah. He's going to give that to his dog for his dog's birthday. Yeah. Oh, All nice. right. Right on, guys. Let's see. Hold that up one more time. Oh, there you go. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. That would yep. be cool as a butterfly with pizza wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Butter yeah. I have a feeling we're going to see that now, Jimbo. So yeah. Sure I'm sure you will. All right, let's go over to our uh, good buddy, Santino. Santino, are you ready for us? Hi. How are you? Very good. Uh, I don't think I'm, I'm just working on a sketch. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, wow. Tie dye. Uh, I want to, I really like, I, I love the um, like face rip you did. Oh, cool. So I'm doing like a, a version of it. Oh, you're going to do it on top of the tie-dye? Yeah. Nice. That's going to be good. So you running out of things to paint on, Santina? Yeah, I am. I just finished this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's awesome. That's so sick. Good job. Love it. But I still have a f surfboard to paint, so I have a few, few more spots. All right. Work. You're going to be All running right. out of pens. You've been painting like a madman. <laughs> yeah, I got new ones here you in Argentina. Did? Oh, good. All right, All right man. Now we're going to hop over it. and visit your brother, Sefe. What's Sefe. up? Hi. Howdy. I've been, I've been working since the butterfly in class on this. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Jeez. That talent really runs through the family. Amazing. Yeah, good job. Good um, amazing. And I was just starting this one. Ooh. I want to do like a shark in the water and lots of bubbles coming, coming out of it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Love shark. Mm. That, that's good, man. Yeah. Cool. Thank How, you. What do you. What do you think of Jimbo's shark that he's painting? Really good. I, I love it. Don't you like the eyes in the in the back of his throat? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Huh? A lot of fun. Awesome. A lot of fun. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, good yeah. to see you guys. All right, we're gonna hop over to Tony Baron Berengale. Tony, I've Baron never Healy. I've known you for years. <laughs> never known how to pronounce your last name. Can you can you pronounce it for me? Bar Baron Healy. That's how Baron we've been pronouncing Healy. it. We're waiting for some like really strong Italian person to correct us, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, Tony. Long time. Hey, what's going on, Drew? Yeah, I know what's going on. Yeah. So I just got a couple. I'm pretty much on the iPad now a lot of the times, but it's like right World on. Industries. Nice. So fun. Yeah. But I want to show a little uh little beach scene right here. Flip it around. This one's kind of colorful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Cool. So you yeah. still up in Venice Beach? What's that? Yeah, it's closed now, though. It's all sandy. You can't skate yeah. there or bike there. Can't yeah. do it so. in the skate park. Yeah, I know. There were some kids, like, skating. They were hitting, like, the little rail and then just, like, landing into the sand. It looked kind of cool. So <laughs> Kids are hitting it on their mini bike. Got this other old school shirt right here, too. Oh, some, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some Thrilla cool. crew. Steve Nazar. Nice. Into that guy, too. Another legend. Yeah. Town and country. So, yeah. Here yeah, in definitely. San Clemente, the uh, the kids dug the skate park out. Skate park out. They put sand yeah. in it, and the kids just armied with five gallon buckets and and dug it out. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. This is fun yeah. though. Glad I could join. Yeah, well, good to see you, man. Here. Yeah, you guys too. I was gonna say hi too. to Eric. Eric Hildwin from Florida. How are you? Good. What's going on, everyone? Doing good, You're man. Good. What you working on? You're wearing a Mark Longnecker t-shirt. Oh, uh, you know it. That's my nice. boy. Oh, look at that. 
Man, that is that is tight, brother. I like the eyeball tentacles. Yeah, that's awesome. So just hanging out. All right, cool. from a uh, local surf shop. So I was like, you gotta keep them. Uh, I didn't want to just go and buy something online for ten bucks, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, let's go my... say hi to Keone. Keone. Hi. How are you? Hey, buddy. I'm joining like the Doctor Plague. Yeah. Yeah, it's very fun. Man. And I, I, I don't know what to draw here, but like, I'm going to draw another mask face here and yeah. like a nuclear bomb, I think. That looks good, man. I like how you're, it's like incorporating just kind of what was there and then on top of yeah. it. Yeah, the DDK yeah. board. Yeah, right awesome. on. Thanks, man. Thanks for sharing. All right, yeah. now we're going to go over to Phil Roberts. Phil, look out. What's up, Phil? You've got a special surprise for Jimbo. Let's see it. Oh, my God. That is so cool. Damn. How you doing, Phil? I'm doing great. Yeah. So yeah. That's so Pitching away. When did you start? How long have you been working on that? Hold it back up again. How long have you been working on that thing? I just started it. That's insane. I did it during the broadcast. Yeah. Oh, it, my gosh. Where, where's Jimbo? Is Jimbo still with yeah, us? Yeah, where is Jimbo? Wait a minute. Did we lose him? Hold on. Hang on. There he is. Wait a minute. What do you think, Jimbo? Oh, we muted him by mistake. Okay, there we go. Sorry. I don't know how that happened. Oh, uh, no worries. It looks awesome. It's hard to draw you when you're on a tiny little screen. <laughs> I'm going so fast, man. I wanted to make it even, you know, because do you remember this? Oh, yeah. Oh, classic. That's my little sculpture down there that you already painted for me, so. Oh, rad. Awesome, man. Yeah. So, cool. Yeah, now we're even. Like insane. That's amazing, man. I'm honored. Oh You're welcome. God. Thank you. Hey. Well, you I want that. Man, that I want that. Cool. <laughs> what else you been working on up there, Phil? Uh, you know, you can see little paintings in the background. Right yeah. There. You know, uh, trying something new. You know, just playing around. I've got, I've got this big thing to finish now next week. Who's that for? Uh, a friend of Spencer's, uh, Greg. He's yeah, got the property up at the ranch. So, so it's another ranch painting. Another ranch painting. Love doing That's those. Ha have you, uh, have you heard from our buddy Bill Ogden? No. <laughs> no, I'm. You know, I'll probably hear news. You know, from Spencer or uh, Alan Harlow. You know how Bill's doing, but. Yeah. He's amazing. He's that so looks crazy. like it's going to be one of those iconic ranch paintings like he did. And it's just so cool that you guys are getting those clients that are letting you dive into those really nice paintings. Uh, yeah, it's a six foot by four foot canvas and it's oils. And, uh, you know, it's been you know a joy to work on something so large. And uh, I, I just like the subject matter so much. You know, it's just unbelievable up there. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to see it when it's done, man. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Good to see you, Phil. So, you know what? We only have a few minutes left. Well, we're pretty much at the top of the hour. Well, let's just and... keep going for a while. All right. Well, I want to jump to a couple more people just very quickly. You have um, some people's mics on. I can hear all kind of people. Oh, yeah. Where is that coming from? Jillian, can you figure out where that sound is coming from? And she did. She's amazing. Okay, cool. Um, so we are going to go to, I don't know the name. It just says iPhone, iPhone. Whoever iPhone is, there you are. Oh, hey, what's up? What's up, brother? How you doing? <laughs> Mike? Yeah, what's that's up? you, brother. What's up? Hey, how are you? Good on Hi. you. Look at yes. you go. Right on. So, this is the first one I've joined in with the Poscas. I watched um, Phil's one the other week or whenever it was, and 
I just love the technique that I use some paintbrush and water. Yeah. So this, this is my first go at um, using the paintbrush and poskas and just blend, you know, trying to get the blends a bit nicer. And um, yeah, so I've got the uh, eyeball, and the flames uh, coming through the barrel. Oh, that's epic, brother. Nice. And, and so oh, what's, yes. what's your name other than iPhone? Uh, Moth. <laughs> right. My name's Daniel, but everybody knows me as Moth. And um, yeah, I'm in South Australia too, so come on down. Yeah, come on down. You, do you know Jer Jeremy as well, Jeremy Levin? Yeah, he lives a long way away from me, but we've done a few poster workshops together. Right so, on, um, man. We've uh, taught a few kids and um, whatnot, and yeah. How are you, Jeremy, if you're listening? Yeah, yeah, we should hop over and see if Jeremy, I don't, oh, wait a minute. I, I'll, I'm going to come down and visit you guys and we can all paint. Sounds good. I'll go with you. Yeah, right <laughs> on. Awesome, thanks. That's all right, let's go say hi to Mario Herrera. Mario, if you are ready, we are coming to see you. Hi. Hey, guys. Hey, Mario. I got the, my latest here. I've been playing with trying to get the painting on the hat. Oh, oh I think it looks on. mean. Thank yeah. you. The little Day of the Dead team. Uh, yeah. just, just had a birthday, and then the wife gets me this with some Poscas. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> turn, turn a happy 49, but oh. I appreciate again everything you guys are doing. They're having a blast. Okay. I'm, work, I'm working on another one, but I'll post that one later. All right. Thank you. Thanks for Thank sharing. We really appreciate sure. it. Thanks from San Antonio, y'all. Take care. Thanks. All right, we're going to go over and say hi to Mike Dimitro. Mike, if you are ready. Hey, what's up? Hey, Mike. Hey. You sitting there with the Groms? Uh, hey, David. How you guys doing? We're, we're awesome. good. So, working on this guy. Oh, wow. So, obviously, oh. from your uh, academy work and then throwing a little surf city in there yeah that's that fits in perfect because on monday we're going to be doing a whole thing on lettering nice that's yeah. right then dylan did a little piece too let's see it dylan dylan's piece oh he's got the wave going look at that good, good job <laughs> dylan you know we have a dylan also but he's 18 so he doesn't hang out with us anymore <laughs> He's yeah, over so, that. <laughs> so everything's good up there. Sorry, sorry, our van thing kind of fell through. Oh, no worries. They, it's, it's kind of postponed. We we're just kind of waiting to hear, and you know, we're all just kind of rolling with it. We might be out there in June, though. We might, we might just come out anyway. Wait, yeah. that'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks for sharing. The wave looks great, man. Good shading, Mike. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's getting there. All right. All right, let's go say hi to Mike Richardson. Mike Richardson. Hey, what's, what's up? up? Look at all those skate decks. Dang. Yeah. Collection. On right now. It's, I haven't gotten a whole lot done. <laughs> well, you got a lot of detail in there. That's going to be yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah oh I saw God. that on Instagram. It looks good, man. I appreciate it, man. You're a huge influence to me, man. I've been following your work since I was a kid. So. <laughs> Awesome. What's your Instagram name? It's uh, at Rebel Soul Studio. Rebel Soul. Oh, I think I remember seeing you comment on something. Yeah. This is uh, something I just finished up recently, too. Yeah. I remember seeing uh, this one. This is cool. That's a drum head? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is for a charity auction that's happening a little later in June. Awesome, man. Yeah. yeah and yeah. And, and where was it that you were located again? I forget. Uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. That's right, Raleigh. Yeah, I met you guys at your, your art show at the uh, Myrtle Beach Gallery, was it two years ago? Yep, yeah, two yeah. summers ago. Yeah, yeah that was a awesome show, man. I was like, I was so stoked to be there. <laughs> right on. You know, it felt really good because I, I, I could have used that when I was getting started to go to a show like that where – it was art that was you're creating as for a job, you know, and yeah. I think everybody on this call right now uh, would like to be making money off their art, you know, whether it be on a skateboard or a hat, surfboards or tattoos or whatever. There's a lot of, a lot of jobs out there for artists. And um, 
it's good that we could connect and, and share and, and see other people's um, perspective. Like Jimbo, you know, he's, he's busy doing it up there in Santa Cruz and that art goes out into the world and makes a difference. So it feels good. Yeah. For All right, sure. let's, let's pop over and say hi to Shaka. Shaka's iPhone. Let's see. Hi. hi. What's up? Show us what you're working on. I'm making this. Uh, Grumbling. Oh, Gizmo. Is that his name? Gizmo? Yes. Yeah. That's on a tiny skateboard. Holy smokes. That's the smallest skateboard I've ever seen. You ride that? What? Do you ride that skateboard? No. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I think i hard word on it. <laughs> it was for school. Oh, for school. It was, yes. All right on. You having fun painting with us? Yes. All right, man. Good job. Right. Let's hop over and say hi to Finn McCarty. Finn, are you ready? Hi. Finn, what's up? Buzz Lightyear, what's up? <laughs> oh. Oh, sick. Yeah, and then I also made oh, this I made this shark, and then I made this last time, the shading one. Oh, that's looking good, Finn. Oh, yeah, awesome. Okay. And then Benny made this, too. Oh, she did great. She hiding over there? Hi. Oh, what's going on? That's Remy. Hey, Rob. Up, Rob? Say, say hi to Jimbo <laughs> Phillips. Good to see you guys. Happy spring. Good, man. Yeah, that's my good buddy Rob McCarty, who uh, we grew up doing art together, man. Nice. I appreciate good all the support. You, Rob. Yeah. All right, let's um, let's hop over to Chris Myers. Let's say hi to Chris, <laughs> who we get to see every. Oh my gosh, look at that background. That's amazing. You get yeah. busy. Good to see you guys. Yeah, I'm taking full advantage of quarantine time, digging into art in a big way. So uh, this is uh, what I'm working on tonight. So finishing up the surfboard. Wow. Uh, that that is over. so killer, man. Yeah, that's it's amazing. Cool. I did it at your shop. So it's like yin and yang. You can see those two together like that. That's perfect. A yeah. You can kind of see the techniques evolve you know with pins because that's first first time i used it there and long so really really proud of them yeah man it, it's okay. been a, it's been a joy watching you uh you know just grow with this and man hats off to you you got it you're, yeah you're, totally you'll awesome. be doing all kind of stuff for years now yeah thank you Good to yeah see you. All right, all right, Chris. Let's hop over and say hi to Alessandra. Alessandra, if you're still wanting us to spotlight you, there you are. Hi. Hi. Wow, look at all that art you have back there. Yeah, we. Wait, you clicked on. There you go. So, what? You got some kind of snake going on there? No, it's not a snake. It's a logo. Oh, okay. It's, I uh, can... For next up foundation, it's a foundation for the kids who wants to learn about skateboards and this is a special order a special order yeah god your boards look yeah, so good here and i will draw with a uh, golden paint yeah can you show us some of your boards that are finished in the background show jimbo yeah. jimbo she's got some amazing boards look at this oh cool yeah. those are rad all, all of them was made with Posca. All with Posca. Very yeah. nice. I like the gray background in the one. It's like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I it, like just the black, this black and wood, you know, it's nice. Yeah. And it's, you know, thank you so much for sharing because it just really shows how everybody's style is different. And, <laughs> um, but it's just really nice seeing everybody's style and how, um, you know, you don't have to paint like me or you don't have to paint like Jimbo, you know, everybody can find their own thing, but you pick up little things 
and that's okay. You know, you pick them up and share them with the next crowd of people. And um, I think so we're going to wrap up in a minute or two, just a couple of minutes, but I want to go over to Jeremy, Jeremy Levins in Australia. If you are willing to say howdy. Hey, Whoa. Yeah. How are you? How you going? Hello, man. Can you. you can hear me all right? Yeah, we can hear yeah. you. We're a long way here down under. But yeah, good day. How's it all going? It's going good. Say hi to Jimbo, man. I know yeah, hey, Jim. Hey, hey, Jim. Yeah, nah. I was looking at a lot of his work over the last few days there, and yeah, it's unreal. I don't know what's a favorite piece. It's all really cool. Oh, so, thank you. Appreciate that. You. Yeah. I like so the screaming pizza that he does. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> nah. They're all, they're all really good and unique in different ways. But, yeah. yeah they, oh, oh, yeah. This is one I was going to do. There. Yeah, I was going to do this today, and I got... Um, Keen and just started the other night, just finished it. So, oh, that's so awesome. good. That's a blend. That's a blend of all of us. It that's is. A yep, it is <laughs> exactly. You nailed that one. Oh yeah, yeah. awesome. Oh, that one's gonna oh, be yeah. sick. A little Hang slasher. On. Nice. Yeah. So this that was what I was doing here. today. Very cool. Yeah. So you have to come down to South Australia. I was just, I saw a moth on there just before. And yeah. um, if you want to surf some big waves, he knows where they all are. Oh, There's good. Big, big surf there. Some big so, yeah. surfing, big sharks. And cold yeah. water. Yeah. I'm down cold. for it, man. I'm down. Uh, yeah, I'm let's, ready, man. Let's do it. Um, awesome. So you've been busy painting? You've been getting a, a lot of work done? Yeah, this sort of time's been giving me just saves a spare time to do bits and pieces. Yeah. Oh, look at that all framed up, brother. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> time to do my own little frame around it. And That's yeah, cool. they were all hanging up on the wall. I've just taken it down so I could show you, but. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, no, thank, thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was hoping that I was gonna get over there this year, but now it looks like it's not gonna be for a while, but it's on the yeah. bucket list, Jeremy. Definitely travel's changed now, hasn't it? Yeah, I think we, I might we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of travel within Australia, I think, and we've been doing that for a while. But I think um, that's about all the option we've got at the moment. So make yeah. the most of it. Well, that's all right. We'll we'll see you got each other again soon. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. All right, right. tell easy. your wife we said hi. Yeah, no, I will. All right, see you, Drew. See ya. Let's see how Jimbo's is coming along. You've been getting a lot done. I've been getting a little bit done. A little bit. Look at the eye. Holy. Yeah, the eye. This is, that is so cool, man. So if you can, Jimbo, you know, you, of course you're going to post it when you're finished. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just really stoked on these paint parties and, and thanks for your time hanging out with us and sharing with everybody. Um, yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. It's kind of cool meeting everybody, isn't it? Oh, that's awesome, man. Thanks for inviting me. I had a blast. Yeah, and it kind of feels like we all hung out, even though we're not together. We're, we are together. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool using the technology this way. And, um, you know, what's really neat is everybody's going to post their pictures on the Brophy Art Academy and on um, Instagram. Post it on Instagram and tag Jimbo and Drew so they'll see it. So you're going to yeah. see a lot of crazy spinoffs of, our, of my work and your work and it's like a big collaboration and yeah, yeah. Every, everyone inspiring each other. Yeah. And we're going to see that over the next 24 hours. That's what's so fun about these paint parties is all the inspiration that yeah. people get off of each other, you know, just by sharing everybody's work, like everybody's inspired by each other. Yeah. So wild. And I got some catching up to do because I still have to finish my butterfly and then I got to finish the skateboard. So what I've been doing is doing a time lapse of me finishing it up so people can watch it. I don't know if you're up for that, but um, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, to just kind of zip through it, and then that way they can actually see it done. And I like I like showing people that there's no easy button. You know, you have to do the time. You sit there and paint it, and yeah. you know your painting is going to be as good as the effort that you put into it and the time you put into it. And um, okay. So it's all, it's all good. You have any last words for everybody? Oh man, just uh, everybody just keep drawing out there, have fun with it. And uh, like you said, you gotta, you gotta put in the time, you know, talent only gets you so far. So you gotta 
you got to like doing it and uh, put in the time and, and create your own style, you know, just find your own little flair that, that suits you and, uh, you know, make it unique to yourself and uh, yeah. And have fun is the main thing, I think. Yeah. And so you want to give a shout out to your website and Instagram and all that. Yeah. How can people find you? Tell everybody. How yeah. They- um, I'm Jimbo Phillips. I have a website. I also have a web store. I have like stickers for sale. I got a bunch of like stickers and t-shirts and stuff. So you can go to Jimbo Phillips.com or follow me on Instagram at Jimbo Phillips. And uh, yeah, I also wanted to shout out my daughter. She helped me with the tech support. So I wanted to show her a little art piece here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. What'd she create that with? It's uh, called a scanogram. You do like a, a, a composition on a scanner and then scan it. And then she did like these crystal kind of, uh, she moved the crystal as it was scanning. Yeah, I, I'm not even sh- exactly sure how she made it, but it's pretty awesome. That's cool. And then my son's been making little stickers too, so he's got these little dinosaur stickers. <laughs> That's awesome. so I had to give them a shout out too. Yeah, next, well, it sounds like generation. you're. You seem sounds like you're like a whole artist family, like third yeah. generation coming. Yeah. 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 Just keeping keeping the stoke alive, you know. Yeah. Very cool. Really yeah. good. I, I look forward to hanging out with you in person up there in Santa Cruz and uh, doing a paint party yeah. live. Yep. We're gonna yeah, do, for sure. We're going to do it very soon. We'll get skin dog painting again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He used to paint those uh, tribal surfboards were awesome. Yeah. That's because that's how I kind of met him. He was painting boards for Bob and I was painting boards uh, in Hawaii and we met in Puerto Escondido surfing big waves. Cool. And, yeah, uh, I want to come down to San Clemente too and check out your uh, art studio down there. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Well, you're always welcome. And um, thanks for thanks for joining us. And oh yeah, a million fans on here tonight. How many people were on? Um, I think at the top of the hour it was like 170 or more. I don't know. It was yeah, a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. Good. So thanks awesome. everybody for joining us. And I just want to say. Um, there were a lot of people that wanted to share and we couldn't get to everybody because we would have been here for a much longer. Um, but just come back on Monday. Monday, we're doing lettering. And yep. next Friday, we're going to have another special guest, not yet announced, yeah. to be announced. Yeah. And one other thing I want to announce. Sure. And that is that we are setting up an exclusive art club and we will have information about it in our next newsletter that goes out by email if you have an interest in it keep an eye out for that yeah we want to we want to do something a little bit more in in depth um to help everybody out and you know i love the paint parties the paint parties are great for us to all communicate and exchange ideas but wouldn't it be great if we could really get some more information as far as uh technique and and really diving into that and so it'll be a little bit longer lessons and things like that yep. and um it kind of i was gonna ask jimbo like so on monday i'm gonna be doing a thing on lettering and you do so much cool lettering and um you know i know phil's on here and mark's on here everybody does lettering and uh that that's kind of a another lost art there that not many people you know because everybody just uses a computer now but it's so fun to draw lettering yeah yeah definitely there's a whole world of lettering yeah you got a lot you could do with it I, I, especially yours is all like textury like monster lettering and drippy lettering and yeah yeah i love that stuff and um so i'm going to kind of dive into that and, and talk about how you know how to set it up and and use a baseline and then you know all the shadowing techniques and so that'll be a lot of fun. So we'll do that on Monday. Yeah. And um, the replay of this will be on YouTube. If you miss any of it and you want to watch it again, thank you all for being here. Thanks to Jimbo. Thanks to all the other amazing artists that were on here tonight. We really appreciate it. We love you. This is so much fun for us. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye.